Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Saturday, May 4th, 2024. And every month I do a COVID update. And this month I'm talking about the flirt variants. Well, folks, it's the same familiar story as in the last four years. We have SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. It's constantly mutating. New variants keep showing up. Some variants fizzle out and others have a replication advantage and they replace their ancestors. So in the United States, as of today, according to the CDC website, we're seeing the fall of JN.1 and the rise of two of its descendants. They are KP.2, which accounts to one in four COVID cases now in the United States, and KP.1.1, which is at about almost 8% of U.S. infections, according to the CDC. Now, these two variants are called the FLIRT variants, and they are part of the Omicron huge family of variants. Now, KP.2 has two genetic mutations from its parent, JN.1, and it looks similar to its parental strain. But experts say these new mutations make this variant better able to escape immunity from previous variants. So, translation in plain English, KP.2 is mutated enough such that our current vaccine immunity and immunity from prior infection will only provide partial protection. Now, according to the CDC, all current PCR and at-home tests are recognizing these FLIRT variants. Also, the antiviral therapies are still effective. So how can you prevent acquiring this? Well, you know the same old story, mask in crowded indoor places, improve your ventilation, and stay up to date with the COVID vaccines. So what are the symptoms of these flirt variants? Well, they're similar to those caused by JN.1. It includes sore throat, cough, fatigue, congestion, runny nose, headache, muscle aches, fever, or chills. So that's the update. What do you think? Looks like COVID's definitely here to stay. I know we're all tired of this COVID-19 situation. I personally am tired of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, but that doesn't mean it's going away. So be careful out there, folks, and uh, stay well.